All right, Nahulbuk's uh, Dungeon Master is kind of like a Dungeon Keeper thing. Uh, the Nahulbuk game before was kind of like, they had a previous game and it was like build a party, head through kind of a tactical dungeon crawler. Um, and this one is, uh, is we are the bad guys, we're building a dungeon and trying to defend from the folks coming into our dungeon. I think that's how this plays out. Uh, no save feature. We're in a demo here for the for the next fest. Whipping the dr whipping the drows. <laughs> the 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 original game had had a, a a nice humor to it. Praying to RN Jesus, uh, and uh, I assume this will be no different. That's right. Good guys defending our home. That music up. For decades, the dungeon of Nalbuk has been one of the crown jewels of the lands of Fang. Huh, that's funny. I never heard of it when I was studying for my Bitter Warlock Sidekick certification. Um, public relations are tough for independent dungeons. Oh, aren't you affiliated with the Dungeons Fund? With those unscrupulous parasites? Never. <clears throat> but we do have the most insidious traps, the most cunning guards, the most dreadful monsters, and the most remarkable treasures. How delightful. May I look around? No, uh, we, we've been renovating. The paint's still wet. Ah, uh, too bad. Despite our reputation being well established, I've decided that this dungeon needs to take things to the next level. Yes, yes, the ad made that very clear. And I need more time for my magical research. Certainly. So, about my compensation, I... <coughs> well, let's not quibble over trifles. I'm aligned with industry norms, not to mention there's the gratification of joining a renowned wizard. Yes, of course. May I meet the other members of the team? Well, actually, not today. They're attending a seminar for process uh, improvement. You know what I mean. Process? The clock is ticking, and you're not the only applicant. What's your decision? This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. I'm interested. Not like I have a choice anyway. No one's hiring half goblins. There's too much discrimination in this sector. All right, I'm in. Perfect, perfect. You made the right choice. And now? Yes? Get to work, you wretch. I don't pay people to stand around. Uh, yes, master. All right, let's see. Where is the dungeon stuff? What state are the premises in? I'll have a look around the property. <laughs> I wonder if signing this contract was such a good idea. Okay, let's look around, zoom in and out. Look around a lot, so we go, there's rotate. Got it. Okay, in and out. Okay, welcome to the dungeons of no book. Dungeon uh, is in poor state for too long. Your mission is to restore it, in other words, make it profitable. And as you can see, your reputation is, is bad. One. Uh, the goal is to improve it. Okay. Uh, select Zangdar. There's a... Uh, I saw the goblin. There's Mr. Goblin. Mr. Zangdar, I think, is over here. Yep, there he is. I shall rule the lands of Fang. When his patience gauge is zero to zero, game over. Okay. And go click on the goblin. Excuse me? He's the new steward. In other words, the head stooge. Select a minion. I need a break. Minions have an, have an origin, a human, a profession, cook, and a rank, and a salary. Rank one minions, the interns, come at no cost. As for the prestige required, we'll cover it later. Uh, minion gains experience by working their way up in the ranks. The higher the rank, the more effective they are. Uh, in the lines of Fang, the unit of time is 10-day week. This cycle gradually fills up over time. Every 10-day week, all minions receive their salary. Orange number. You can see that, yeah. Uh, minions die when they run out of health and resign when their morale hits rock bottom. Uh, each minion needs has specific needs. If these aren't met, their health and morale goes down. Master, 
If I may, isn't it a bit strange for an evil dungeon to have its tavern open to the public? Ah, yes. Well, it's a convenient way to make some money. But I'm not very good at managing it. I see. Well, it could prove to be useful. So, have you finished your little tour? You must be in awe of the grandeur of this place. Uh, yes, I... well, this dungeon is rather... unique, that's for sure. But, say, how often do you come by the staff area? Never. I'm a warlock, not a stable boy. All right, that's enough talk. Maybe it's we'll not never talk. be able to retain our staff with such rundown premises, Master. I have no money to spend on a luxury lounge for my lazy servants. Oh, but it's a matter of standards. Take the Temple of Wismo, for example. They have 18 toilets just for the servants. What? Those frauds. Uh, well, do what you must, but don't go overboard. We're not running a hotel. Let's see. We won't get anywhere without bathrooms, for starters. Chamber pots and manure heaps are so last century. Okay, build tab. Let's build some things. Uh, build tab is where? Oh. Okay. Shower room. Access to toilet and shower room. Trace the walls on the floor. Beware the cost of the room increases with its size. Um, we'll put it... I don't know. How big does it want to be? That big? Okay, so let's look at the latrine. Okay. Validate. Speed up. Perfect! We now have a decent bathroom. Now, dormitories with beds. Okay, uh, the Gatlin... Gatlin Atif? Keep track of the, uh, the important events in the dungeon. Check out for more information. Uh, I don't pay you to nap. Speaking of payment... Later, later. Super busy, magical research and all that. I think I'll have to put a little slush fund aside. Uh, not really what I wanted that. Uh, can I redo that? Let's try that again. Dormitory, and we'll go... I don't think I'm going to be able to fit this where I wanted it to. Let's just do it over here. Put a door there. Let's just, like, squeeze it in over here somewhere. Okay, and you need a bed. How many beds does it want? Two beds? Yeah, you're gonna get three beds. Can't be re oh, uh, undo. No, 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 no. Huh? Ah, there we go. Okay, done. Yeah, you can hold hands while you go to the bathroom. <laughs> right next to you, so you monster. <laughs> We're in a dungeon. This isn't a hotel. <laughs> Master, the living quarters improvements are complete. Uh, not bad, but very expensive. We'll have to find some more money. If I'd wanted to go bankrupt, I'd have hired an interior designer. I hear you, but given the state of the dungeon, I'm not sure how we could defeat a party of adventurers, even beginners. If we're not up to snuff, it'll be your fault, entirely. But I just got here and, well, I do serve an evil wizard, not a charity. Okay, next. We have to develop this tavern to bring in some income. The old tavern keeper is gone. Yet another ungrateful coward. 
I'm not dealing with this anymore. I've got better things to do. I must focus on my magical research and developing my management skills. That's right. I could have had the I could have had the toilets facing each other <laughs> rather than side by side. I can handle it. So let's see. We need tables for customers, equipment for serving food and drinks. In the meantime, I shall subscribe to a few periodical publications about evil dungeon management. We need to get this up to date. I wonder if he knows what he is doing. Don't you overspend. We want to extort gold from the poor, not waste our money on furniture for drunkards. Okay, tavern selected. Tax customers uh, spending the gold each, each item in the tavern has a maintenance cost. Uh, we'll get deducted from our weekly earnings. Uh, number of customers spends on the size of the tavern and the number of seats. Uh, editing tool. We want. We got a bar already. We need. A, we want a. Uh, we got a crappy tavern table. We got an armor. We got some fences. Oh, I don't know. A green skin totem. How about a nice brazier? That seems nice. There we go. Zingdar can have his own statue. It's giant. Uh, how about we do one of these? This seems nice. I don't know if we want more. Uh, oh, there's a door there too, isn't there? The kitchen. Anything else in here? There. And, um... Okay. Um, I could, like, squeeze one in here, but that seems like a bad, like, I don't know. Ah, we'll do it. Yeah, tripe advice. <laughs> Tripe advisor. Uh, maybe we need, we need to maybe hit, we see if we can hit a second notch there. Um, and slap a column in here. How about an evil torch? In the corner. Is that going to be up there? Not quite. Very slowly increasing the prestige. Almost there. What's that? Accommodate six additional customers. Did I not do that? Maybe I need another one of these? I don't think I can fit another one of those in there. Accommodate six additional customers. Apparently I haven't done that. So that's... There's clearly six. Let me just hold. This is, okay, so we need one of those. Can't be used by dwarves, apparently. There we go, got it. Okay. Yeah, I think once, about, once it gets built, it should fix that. Here it come. Done. There. Table and sideboard. This should be enough to lure in a few dupes. And may have gone a little overboard. Ugh. I hired an evil dungeon steward, not a lunch lady. Indeed, master. But we need some revenue. Look, all these customers should earn us some gold. Excellent. Orlov for debrief, master. Hey, what's with this dull-looking goblin? Half goblin? Who is this brute? He is the dungeon sword master and guard commander. So, are you back from the retaliatory raid? Affirmative. We made it to target location, the so-called Temple of Wismal. Enemy ambush fighting. 100% loss rate on our side. Debrief <laughs> over. What? You turkeys! I was injured six times myself. We were expected. I'm the guard commander, not a marauder. 
This requires specific operational preparation. Clearly. This doesn't speak highly about your abilities. Who asked you, you withered piece of lettuce? Silence, you two. Revax is our new steward. As for you, Orloff, maybe I should get a new swordmaster. Certainly, sir. But I'll complain to the Guild of Mercenaries and Dungeon Guards. This wasn't in my job description. Ugh. Cursed be the bowels of the great Talifern. I'm so sick of these union demands. Beat it, both of you. I'm going back to my research. Hmm. I think we'd better try to collaborate. In our mutual interest, sword master. Yeah. Affirmative. For now, you little... I mean, yes, steward. Oh, oh, da. Ah. This failed raid explains why this dungeon is so badly guarded. Anyone can just waltz in. If we want to get rid of adventurers, we should deal with slackers first. Affirmative. The downsizing caused by the incursion attempt on the Temple of Wismal is weighing on staff rotation. We must recruit new elite guards. Guards are expensive. I read in Dungeons and Despots that support roles should be outsourced as part of a... Uh, atomized management of the company's processes. Don't you mean optimized, Master? Silence! You know nothing of modern dungeon management vocabulary. As for you, improve the guard, but with no superfluous expenses. We could hire a few interns. They shouldn't cost us much. We'd just have to think about feeding them from time to time. Affirmative. That's it for now. I'll bring them up to speed. Trust me on that. Attention, at ease. Okay, guard room, vital to dungeon's defense. Sure. Guard room with four lockers for human soldiers. Alright. Guard room. How big does it need to be? That works. Okay. Oh, it just needs four. Oh, that's all it needs? Uh, maybe it's a little big. Let me, let me, let me redo that. There we go. <laughs> Done. This is just obviously just place I guess anywhere. That was our yeah. That's our kitchen. And oh, these are. I'm not sure if these are workers. Little Kilbert Sulpin. Yes. Seems happy. Looks like we have the option to send him send him to the dungeons. What? I'm busy. Or kill him. What? Okay, each locker automatically recruits one or more guards. They go on about their business until the alarm goes off. When it does, they go to battle. Each locker increases the population of the dungeon. Number of guards in the dungeon is always displayed. Ah, the first interns have arrived. Soldiers, attention! Line up on pairs in the front rank. I only want to see one head. Intruders! Can we do something about this? Can we, um... Master? There's the alert. There they go. I'm curious to see how he goes about training them. Ideally, we should find a pile of dirt and make them dig a hole to bury him. But, but that's absurd. Negative. This is training through blind obedience. To think is to disobey. Come on, on the double, rookies. Hop two, hop two, hop two. Attention, at ease. What's wrong with this guy? 
Where's he going? Okay. Pass some time. Rebox! Why are my minions so agitated? I can't focus in such a ruckus. One of the servants is on strike, Master. He's protesting against his working conditions. I could send the guards to slaughter this slacker. <laughs> Civilians are so entitled. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the best approach for retaining competent staff, Master. We must listen to his demands and fulfill them, if they're legitimate. I don't care about the specifics. I just need this rocket silenced. Deal with it, or you'll get the whip! Incidentally, there's an article in Dungeons and Despots about the psychological torture of middle management minions. <laughs> Minion on strike. May I help you? Um, uh, in fact, I'm stressing Zagnar. Uh, meters to page. Okay, how long? The minion abandons the strike before that, when it goes off. The Circus Union always displays their demands, meet the demands at the end of the, to end the strike. He wants to work with his pet chicken. Uh, you know what? Forget it. The demands are unattainable for now. Just get rid of this ingrate by firing him. Alright. Severance? What kind of dungeon is this? Out with the striker. It'll make an example of him. Still, I should try to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's done, Master. Everything is back to normal. The strike is over. About time. Let's move on. I've just been informed that the Temple of Wismo has increased its reputation, while we've been sitting on our haunches whistling nursery rhymes. We should limit the risk of strikes. The dungeon won't be able to repel adventurers with disgruntled minions. Affirmative. To smash those little snoopers, you need motivated, and therefore well-fed, guards. These matters are unworthy of a high-level wizard. They're better suited for interns. Of course, Master. I'll see what I can come up with, but we'll need a cook. As long as they're not too expensive and can cook sumptuous meals. Bear and beer stew, for example. Mm. It's also necessary to adapt the food to each species. If we serve elfish fare to goblins, they'll start eating the elves, too. <laughs> okay, we need an uh, office for the goblin. Um, you can go... I mean, I'm, I'm over here. You can be over here, too. Give you a little spot over here. How big... Like that. And you want one, a desk? There you go, buddy. I got one star. No. It's fine. It's good. Okay, review the profiles of potential recruits. Click on the jobs. Uh, we got one here. Orc cook. Get hired, buddy. It's an exciting bridge. you're looking for a cook? Well, yes, but I just hired one. An orc cook. It's the best I could afford. Are you qualified? I sure am. I've been a cook, a barber, adventurer, surgeon, executioner, and embalmer. I can peel and bone like nobody's business. Mel Boots, here to serve you, with a preference for ale. Anyway, do you have someone for your tavern? Well, actually, we don't. It is true we could use a good tavern keeper, but my budget's a bit tight. I'll skim my pay off the take. Come on, you won't regret it. I'll turn <laughs> it into a first-class boozing den. All of Fang will come here to get hammered. Just gotta keep the dishes real salty. Gotcha. Relocating towards the bar. March, huff two, huff two. 
orc minion see their information like you bashing heads is only solution <laughs> Okay, its origin determines their special traits and behaviors. Orcs, for example, are carnivorous. Means we must produce meat dishes. Place one carving board in the kitchen. Alright. Where carving board is? Can't we just click the, um, this? Add in a carving board. Carving board. Okay. This is a good demo, but it's short. Oh, yeah. Oh, how far are we? We're like, we're like 25 minutes into it or so. Minions have to eat some standing up in the kitchen, which reduces their morale. You can build a canteen to allow them to eat sitting down. Master, we have significantly improved the minions' living conditions. And for cheap, too. And we'll serve them good. Cheap plunk, hard ale, and sausage that'll dry out your gullet. What? Who is this individual? It's, um, Mel, the new tavern keeper. I'll explain. Ugh, my patience is running thin. We spend too much on nonsense here, and our reputation is stagnating. <laughs> um, maybe we should put in... The, what was it? It said canteen. Does it, does it mean like, um, I don't know. Maybe it means like a, I don't know, maybe we need a, its own separate eating area for, for them. Yeah. Um, I'd like it to be close by, but I suppose we can put it, like, over here. Put a couple doors in. Just enough for one table. Maybe two? No. One table, and that's gonna be it. And a brazier. Okay, what about that? Uh, what do you want? Hey, uh, no offense, but... Your dungeon's got quite a stench, don't you think? Thank you. Reeks like a bunch of dead rats. What? No, it doesn't. We just cleaned the mess and fired the slackers. Just saying, but this morning I saw a cockroach so grossed out it puked. Mind you, I'm not the kind to wash the mugs every day or to take more than one bath a month. But hey, there are limits to filth. Hmm, it is true that to attract a certain class of customers or servants, We'll need to raise our standards. Cleaning, improving sanitary facilities, and hiring decent domestics. Yep, exactly. Elves will do the trick. I know there are a bunch of lettuce munchers who think they're hot dung, but they don't mess around with cleanliness. Hire an elf. All right. Elves have special needs too. He's foppish, ingenious, and vegetarian. Foppish is what? Uh, doesn't generate reputation in dirty rooms. Ingenious sets off traps more often than others. Okay. Uh, and refuses to eat meat dishes or waste. Sure, you're hired, buddy. Shower room to view its... In oh, he's gonna want a fancy shower, isn't he? Rooms produce dirt, as do the minions when they move around. Depending on their origin or traits, good or bad hygiene affects the morale. Um, keep the room clean. Yeah. Place a shower in the shower room. Put two showers in there. And you know what? Put a couple extra toilets in there. Let's actually have toilet paper. So now you can shower while you're watching someone poo. Oh, but what might this object in the shower be? A faucet? I see! Fascinating! Vegetable bin in the kitchen. There, 
with some vegetables to cook. Yep, that's elves for you. Well, at least apples and turnips are cheap. Revax! The Temple of Wismal had marble columns installed. I just saw the etchings in the Dungeons and Despots magazine. Oh, not again with that rag. We need to revamp my dungeon's decor. This is an essential aspect of the, uh, the prolificacy of this organization's processes. Productivity, Master? But you said we don't have the funds to... Just make some improvements, or I'll turn you into a flower pot. And stop contradicting my managerial guidelines, or you'll get your termination notice from Orloff's crossbow. Okay, decorations tab. And place 10 decorations. And we'll do some sort of cheaper ones. These are all about the same price. Let's just make some... Let's just do like, um... I don't know. Put in a, a maybe a bench like that, um, and uh, maybe a statue. Oh yeah, here we go. Can you come into this place? Oh, I can't be straight. Oh, I can't be straight. Well, we'll have it outside his house, or outside his building, his place. Here we go. Again, not straight. He can have um, that fellow next to him. I think, that, I think I probably did 10. I did exactly 10. What's wrong with this guy? Can I see you? No. Okay, 10 done. Done, master. We've installed some marble columns. Braziers and flower pots? Braziers? No, we... Ah, I'm quite pleased with my choice of decor. I shall write to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang to share my creative insights. I hope this won't get us into trouble. Hello, I'm looking for the master of the dungeon of Nahelbuck. Well, I am his steward. How may I help you? I'm here about the letter he sent to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang. Are you going to publish his article on interior decoration? I don't know. This is a matter for the DOAF Gazette Editorial Board. I am Doris Mortadella, head inspector of the Dungeons Fund. I'm here for your membership application. What? The DF? But, uh, we didn't apply for membership. There must be some mistake. Your master wrote to the DOAF. According to DOAF regulations, any such communication is to be considered as a membership application to its parent company, the Dungeons Fund, unless expressly stated otherwise. But that's... Uh, oh, puss and boils! This is utter nonsense! What if we refuse to join? That is your right. In accordance with the DF regulations, as ratified through case law by all courts in the lands of Fang, we would be entitled to a compensation of 200,000 gold coins. 200? What? That's racketeering! It'd be easier to join the DF like most proper dungeons. I will have your master sign the documents. A measly 412 scrolls for a small dungeon like yours. Pox and mutant rats! Remax! In my office! Immediately! Oh, that's it? Oh. <laughs> so many quick demos today. Well, there's the Nahulbox Dungeon Master. Uh, if give me a kind of um, a kind of an evil genius feel to it. Medieval evil genius or fantasy evil genius.